Some people do these kind of videos with coffee and tea. Mine's water. In a beer stein. Today we're talking about the birds and the bees and everything in between. <laughs> hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a video that is scandalous, I guess you could say. It isn't really talked about a lot on YouTube. Because the video that I did on the college hookup culture, which I can put right here, it did so well that I decided to kind of continue on with it and kind of go a little bit further and, and talk about losing virginity. Whoa. So if anyone from my family, like my mom or anybody like that is watching this video, I just recommend not watching it just because that's just weird. But I'm really excited to be able to talk to you guys about this kind of topic because I know it's going to help a lot of you guys out there. So before I get into this topic, I want to make sure I don't have a lipstick on my teeth. Before I get into this topic, I want to remind you guys to subscribe because it would help me out a ton and I would deeply, deeply appreciate it. So if you haven't already seen my video all about the college hookup culture and just kind of sex in general in college, I will be linking it in the description box and you can watch that. Losing virginity is kind of like a topic that I debated back and forth on talking about. I'm not really sure why the subject of losing a virginity is such a taboo subject because I mean, it's something natural that happens basically to every human being and it's something that should be talked about and discussed more so people know that it's not necessarily a bad thing because, I mean, it happens in everyone's life most likely. And the average person actually loses their virginity at age 17. Obviously there's people who lose it at younger and, and there's people who lose it when they're older. I personally was one of those people who lost it when they were older. I guess here I go on the internet, just gonna announce this. I personally was 19 when I lost my virginity. There. It was the summer going into my junior year of college, that's that. But I don't think it's something that you should be putting on a timeline like I want to lose my virginity at this age because you should lose it whenever you are ready to lose it and when you found someone that you're comfortable enough. Ugh, I feel like so bad for saying the term losing it because to me I feel like the word purity and everything like that kind of makes it sound like sex is dirty and sex is something unnatural. But when you actually lose your virginity you're actually not really losing anything. You're still the same person. You're not any more slutty or any more unpure. Nothing really changes. It's just experience that you gain. I don't necessarily feel like you're losing anything when you're 110% ready to do it. However, if it's, and I pray that this doesn't happen, it is a moment that you're not particularly ready for or that you don't necessarily want to happen then I guess in that sense you are kind of losing something because that's a negative connotation of virginity. In today's society it's something that virginity is talked about very like hush hush but when it is kind of discussed in a bigger setting it kind of allows people to create windows and judgment on the whole topic just because you know, you might be ready at 17, but another person might not be ready at 17. You know, it's just, it's all personal. Something I wish I would have known ahead of time is that sex isn't everything. You know, I always heard so many people talk about sex and they lost their virginity and everything like that. And I was just imagining like the first time I had sex to be the most magical thing in the entire world. And for me personally, it wasn't. And that's completely okay because sex isn't everything. It won't solve all the problems that you're having in like your relationship or boys or anything like that. Sex also isn't nothing. So it's not everything, but it's not nothing. <laughs> and whenever you are ready to lose your virginity, the right guy won't judge you for being a virgin. We can do this whenever you're ready. It's not the right guy if he's being a completely judgmental asshole and you should continue to save it. I think it's really best whenever you lo lose it to someone who is important to you. I thankfully am still actually good friends with the person that I lost my virginity to. It just seemed like the right person at the time and I feel like that's important for whenever you're, you know, about to engage in sex for the first time. It should be with someone that you feel 100% comfortable with. Sex is a very vulnerable thing. Something I want to stress about having sex for the first time is it's definitely not like how it is in the movies. It's not magical. It's not like, you know, you're being pushed against the wall and just crazy, steamy sex. I mean, it might be for you, but most of the time it's not for the first time you have sex because it's a little uncomfortable and you're just like, holy shit, like what's about to happen? It's nerve wracking. Not sure what to do with yourself. Awkward, but it's also exciting. I know a lot of people say it hurt the first time. I know some people that say it didn't hurt for the first time. Very spotty to body. For some reason, it didn't really hurt me the first time. And then once it's all over and you're just kind of like, you know, taking all in the fact that you just had sex for the first time. Yeah. 
that's it. It's really not the most life-changing moment because I personally thought when I was going to lose my virginity, it would be the most mind-blowing experience of my entire life and I'd be a completely changed person. In reality, I was the same person I was like an hour before it happened. And the good thing about it is, you know, once the first time is over, you have all the times in the world to grow and change and figure out you know, what you like and, and kind of grow romantically with someone if that is your choice. But I just really wanted to stress that it's not necessarily going to change you, but it's not necessarily not going to change you. It's just kind of varies person to person and I just kind of wanted to start an open forum kind of talking about this kind of stuff just because I think there's a lot of younger people on my channel that are kind of going through this milestone in their life. It's okay. <laughs> Everything's gonna get easier and it's exciting. Life is exciting. But I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if there's any other taboo subjects or anything advice-wise that you guys would like me to talk about in the comments below. I would deeply appreciate that. And until next time, be sure to stick around by subscribing. And until next time, I already said that, but I will talk to you all later. Bye!